us. Wednesday is a big day. 102 year old Army and Navy veteran Dr. Leo Sampson will board an honor flight to Washington, D.C. The trip will allow him and dozens of other veterans to see the monuments and memorials honoring their service and sacrifice. It's going to be a heck of a trip. Now, the man who heads Ida County's Veterans Affairs believes that Sampson may be the oldest veteran in Ida County. Sampson has seen a lot in more than a century on Earth, but it's been 25 years since he set foot in our nation's capital. KTIV's Matt Hoffman interviewed Samson today uh, at his nursing home in Ida Grove. So Matt, how did Samson end up in both the Army and in the Navy? Yeah, Matt, it's pretty rare. Now, in 1945, Samson enlisted in the Army, but he wanted to become a dentist, and that's when the Navy decided to pick up the bill. He served stateside, fixing teeth for the soldiers and sailors headed overseas to war. Tomorrow, Samson will jump on a flight from Fort Dodge to Washington, D.C. Then he'll turn 103 this summer. My son is the fellow that's looking after my myself, you know, and he gets to go on the trip and I'm excited for him. Being selfless comes up a lot when talking to Dr. Leo Sampson. He says he doesn't deserve to go on the honor flight because he never went overseas, even though he served about 30 years and retired from the Navy as a commander. His friend, Judy Pluth, had to help Sampson get a spot on the plane. And they're like, Oh, I bet you'll be the oldest no person there, you know, so they were all very excited that he could go. If you talk with Samson, he'll offer to show you his Quilts of Valor Certificate of Service. And the quilt itself, of course, while he tries to downplay his service, Plu says he has his entire uniform back at home. Consider the military as a, as a career because, man, that time goes by pretty fast. With a wink, Samson says he didn't expect to live past 90, but he plans to make it through the honor flight on Wednesday. In Ida Grove, Iowa, Matt Offman, KTIV News. On my table. So, Matt, for those who may not know, remind our viewers what the honor flight program is all about. Yeah, Matt, honor flights are chartered planes that take veterans to Washington, D.C. to see war memorials and monuments. I actually previously covered one based out of Sioux Center, and it's quite a full day. The plane leaves around 5 a.m. and lands back in Iowa late the same evening. All right, Matt Hoffman in the studio with us tonight. Thanks, Matt.